I do think we have a steel problem, not a rust problem, because we have plenty of rust. The big task for this year was to get the hull in good condition from the outside. We hope this could be achieved by a good pressure wash and a little bit of paint. However, when we hauled out the boat, we discovered a very severe electrolysis damage. So now we are facing a labor-extensive, very expensive and extended time in the shipyard. So far we ripped out the galley and removed a lot of dusty old cork insulation. So what's up next? Hello, it is so good to see you again. Last time we started to take out the interior and the insulation on the starboard side of the former fish room. And this time we continue this demanding task on the port side. The upside when taking out all the interior and insulation is you really know your ship inside and out. But the downside is there might be a reason why nobody dared to take a look behind the insulation in 72 years. Hi, we are Daniel and Barbara. The last years we spent sail racing against the best sailors in the world. Then we decided it is time for a new chapter in life and bought a huge historic ship. And now we are in for a very long project and on a mission to convert this neglected steel boat back into the beautiful sailing ship she once was. So join us on this journey and welcome to the Shipyard Series. Eventually we can start with the insulation on the port side. First we remove all the salvageable wood and the bling bling stuff like the lamps. Then we rip out the rest of the interior on the port side. And finally we can start with the fun part ripping out even more cork insulation. Here we have the watertight bulkhead and fortunately there is no cork insulation on this watertight bulkhead but it seems like there was one before so they had removed it when they converted her to a sailing ship and here on the wall we have cork insulation again and it seems like this cork insulation is held in place by tongue and groove boards and that's actually a good thing because they're easier to remove. I have absolutely no idea why someone covers up such beautiful wood here with such ugly vinyl. Really, absolutely no idea. All the interior on the port side is removed now. It was a lot easier than on the starboard side, 
but now comes the part we are really not looking forward to, removing all the insulation. And it was really hard on the starboard side and we think it will be quite hard on this side as well. And we are so tired, it's so difficult and the back hurts and everything hurts, but we have to do it. <laughs> Sometimes things happen beyond your control As if they have a life of their own The choices you make, what appears to be right Seems you just have no say As if you're a witness to your own mistakes It's easy to play along After you see what the choices came to be like a storm that's passed on Whoa. It's all rain. I know. Luckily the wood is still in place. The wood is in better condition than the steel. It is. I think that's not how it should be. Okay. Makes it easier, doesn't want to look. The insulation. <laughs> Do you think we have a rust problem? No. There is plenty. Yes. Try to remember all the shit that went down. I don't know what your intention was Like trying to memorize the Bible backwards to the star And reciting it from the heart, upside down How is the heart? The heart looks fine, it's just the frame And maybe it really is just because the frame is a different kind of steel than the heart Maybe it's not as good as the heart Possible. Possible. But it's really, really tight. Yeah, and I have no idea how to get this fucking car from up there. I think you can just remove this board here. Yeah, but no. Why not? Okay. Yeah, but you can just remove this board here. Yeah, but you can just remove this board here.
After we have removed all the insulation in the galley, we found this frame and showed it to the guys in the yard. And they told us to call in an expert. I don't think that's good. After we removed all the insulation in the saloon and had a closer look at the steel there, we were quite shocked. Honestly, we asked ourselves the question if it was still worth saving the ship. Or if it would be better to cut our losses, scrap the ship and move on. So we asked the yard for their opinion and usually they are quite optimistic. I mean, they are not the ones paying the bill. But this time they told us that it is probably better to call in an expert. So we called a surveyor from the classification society to help us decide if it's possible and reasonable to bring the ship back to life. So you might understand that morale was pretty low at this point and there was not much we could do until the surveyor showed up. The only thing we could do was to remove as much stuff as possible so that the surveyor had the best possibility to judge the state of our ship. So next up was the compartment underneath our secret hatch. Also, if you have enjoyed this video so far, then please give us a thumbs up because it really makes a difference. The next area we will work on is the compartment underneath our secret hatch. And that one is really interesting because in there is still all the interior from the fishing times. And I think during the last 50 years or so no one ever saw the high there. So we are really curious in what condition the high behind the interior is. And also in this compartment is the um, tube where the rudder shaft goes through. And that one is a really expensive part and right now it is behind a wall. So we have to rip that out to, to see in which condition it is. And we hope that it is still in good condition and not too rusty so we can keep it. And so please cross your fingers that we don't have to exchange this part as well. Because it's already a lot we have to do <laughs> on this ship at the moment. So let's find out how the hull is. We use this compartment here as a storage area, so first we have to remove all the stuff here. just found something really interesting. I think these are the old spanners from the mainmast when she was a sailing ship. Next step is to remove all the interior down here and that will be a pain in the behind because there is no full standing room. Actually, ripping out all the interior down here was something we were really looking forward to because it is an interesting compartment and we are really quite curious what we will find. But today I'm so tired because last week was so exhausting and also the weekend wasn't quite relaxing. So it is really hard to continue working, but we have to get rid of this stuff, so let's do it.
And here's the dog. Build condition. The hull or the hole? The hull. The hull. I thought you found the hole. No. Nope. <laughs> the hole. Hull. Wow, still coated, isn't it? Coated. That's yeah, good news. Real soft. Frame's good. No rust. Bring a good condition. Just relaxing here. To our big surprise, the condition of the hull in this compartment is really, really nice. So we think they recoated it when they converted her into a motor sailor. And also the pipe for the rudder shaft looks quite nice. And that's really good because if they have to exchange it, that's a quite expensive part.
I think the worst spot is on the bottom on port. It's on your right side. Oh, that's hey. good. Yeah. <laughs> One thing that's fine. <laughs> One thing that's fine. Finding out that the pipe for the rudder shaft is in good condition was a big relief. We knew when taking on such a big project it won't be easy and that there will be many challenges on the way. But nothing prepares you for the ups and downs. One day you remove the interior of a complete compartment and everything looks, well, not new, but fine. And another day you remove a bit of insulation and the whole frame comes with it. Usually it is not one particular damage that makes the project boat not worth repairing. It is a combination of many smaller jobs that add up. So it is not only the electrolysis damage or the condition of the frame or the pipe at the rudder shaft. But all three of them together, yeah. So join us next time when we finally find out if it's possible to save our ship or not. And if you don't want to miss it, then please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. But before we end this video, I want to announce that we plan to do a Q&A soon. So feel free to leave your question in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.